This video demonstrates a procedure for studying the effects of shear stress on bacterial adhesion. During a severe infection with a bacterial pathogen such as Neisseria meningitidis, the pathogen reaches the bloodstream. There it attaches to and colonizes host cells while under mechanical stress from flowing blood. Following proliferation, some bacteria detach and colonize new sites and the cycle begins again. To study factors that affect bacterial adhesion to host cells, endothelial cells are introduced to disposable flow chambers and cultured to allow the cells to reach confluence. Fluorescent bacteria are added and shear stress is experimentally controlled using a syringe pump. Adhesion of the bacteria to host cells and proliferation is followed microscopically. The resulting videos are analyzed to determine the effect of shear stress on the process of endothelium colonization. This procedure can be uh, very useful to study the pathogenesis of Neisseria meningitidis, but it can also be used for other bacteria that are submitted to shear stress throughout the pathogenesis process. This technique is, uh, can be a little bit tricky to do, in particular in, when it comes to introducing bubbles into the system, which can be a problem. So today, demonstrating the procedure will be Magali Soyer, a PhD student working in my laboratory. The experiments described in this video are performed using cells cultured in an Ibidi Microslide 60.4, consisting of a disposable sterile plastic slide containing six 17 mm long and 3.8 mm wide channels that are 0.4 mm deep. Each channel has two access ports with lure adapters, one on each end.